So Ghost Recon Breakpoint has been a game of ups and downs pretty much since I t started talking about on this channel. I was very excited for the game before launch, um, back when it was announced and stuff. I was super hyped. Um, however, as we got closer to launch, more details started coming out about the game. People actually started getting their hands on it in betas and stuff. And yeah, the feedback just was not good. And because of this, ever since from the moment the game launched to the moment I bought it, a few months later to the moment all the way up until now I've called the game everything from it being complete trash and a disappointment all the way up to it having some extreme potential and I still stick by everything I've said it's been a rocky road for this game but with the most recent um, patch where they finally introduced the immersive mode for this game I am happy to say that Ghost Recon Breakpoint is finally on the right path, I think, to being a really good game. And one of the big things that contributes to this is the fact that the loot system is now gone, or at least you can turn it off. That's right, guys, that god-awful loot system is finally gone and out of our hair. Now, you guys... For those of you who haven't watched the channel before or who are new to the channel, I hated that loot system. Every All my subscribers already know because I've spent more than enough time talking about it. But yeah, I, whenever the topic of that loot system came up, it turned me into an absolute savage. Like, I had no mercy for that loot system. In my opinion, it ruined everything that could have been great about this game from the beginning. Or at least most of it, anyway. But once again, that's just my own personal dramatic opinion. But with the loot system gone, many things have changed for the better. One of them being... The fact that you can actually now customize your weapons within um, the Bivex and stuff like that. Or at least if you're playing in immersive mode, you have to go to like a Bivex or something. And listen, th these are just the settings I've put it on. I'll probably show you guys my settings for it in a different video. But right now, I'm just going to go over this with the settings that I've been using. So... Yeah, you have to go to a Bivik now to customize your weapon, and it's so much better than the old system. In the old system, you might go through this crazy mission where you infiltrate a base um, just for the sake of getting to that weapon case to get that weapon that you wanted, only for you to find that exact same weapon on some random soldier that you pa pass by five minutes later on your way to the next objective, and it just completely outsigns and upscales that um, epic accompli accomplishment that you just made um, by taking out all those enemies or something like that. So that used to be really annoying and it's gone now. Now, if you want that really good weapon, the only way you're going to get it permanently where you can customize it and hold on to it for long term is if you actually go and find the blueprint for it. So kind of like the way it was in Ghost Recon Wildlands. As you guys know, I find this system very superior to what we have with the loot system and breakpoint. So I'm really excited about that. So now once you get the blueprint to every weapon, you can customize it and switch out the parts and everything and make it exactly how you want. And you can pick it up again at any Bivik or whatever whenever um, you visit it or at Air One if you feel like going back there for some reason or than story purposes. But anyway, moving on, another really cool thing now is that you can pick up enemy weapons. This is a big deal, guys. I, like, this is super cool that you can pick up enemy weapons, but I'm not going to get too deep into this one, too, because it kind of ties um, in with something else that I want to talk about later. So we're just going to move on to the next thing for right now. Um, another thing that is really cool about this new immersive setting is like what I was telling you guys earlier there's different settings so you can really customize it 
to whatever you want and you can just find tweak a lot of stuff to get the perfect experience for you you know you can tweak the difficulty a lot more specifically on certain things and areas um and that that's just really cool that has really been um that's really kind of created the perfect experience for me so i've been enjoying the game a lot more because of it um and pretty much one of the things that I change my settings to that I think everybody should change theirs to is to have one primary weapon. Having one primary weapon is definitely one of the best ways to play this game for the simple reason it forces you into a much more specific, diverse gameplay style where you kind of just have to if you're a sniper you know you're going to be sniping you're, you're not going to have a assault rifle on your back and swap in and out of them um if the only way that happens if is if an enemy charges you or rushes you you kill them or maybe you run out of bullets or maybe you're getting chased and you have to take an enemy out and you take their weapon so yeah that kind of ties back in with um why it's so cool that you can pick enemy weapons up now. Also, another reason that picking up enemy weapons is a big deal now is because they also have it to where you can waste ammo now if you choose to set it to that in the settings, which I also think is a really cool new feature because this just really sinks you back into what Ghost Recon Breakpoint was supposed to be. You know, this really kind of hardcore survival-like setting. You know, you're you're um, a single soldier on an island, on a hostile island, um, doing all these missions alone. You know, you're obviously not going to have infinite ammo and a bunch of weapons along with you. So it's just so much more immersive to have to pick up um, enemy weapons in between firefights just you know to make it to the other side of that fight like there was one firefight in here where I literally um, beat the last enemy with just one single bullet left um, in all my guns so that was pretty exciting I've also used pistols a lot more um, in this game mode your your pistol is going to be your best friend from now on if you choose to um, do the single primary weapon thing um, but anyway one of the last things I really want to talk about is exploration exploration now is a must you have to explore around if you want to get new weapons if you want to um, get you know some more supplies maybe you're on your way to um, your next main mission but you realize you're kind of low on supplies well you know if you go to one of the low sites maybe you can find a few things there maybe you can find a bivec um, the bivecs are now much more helpful you definitely want them um, because fast traveling and stuff is going to be a lot more important here vehicles are a lot more important now because um, if you're playing on one of the harder difficulties it gives you a lot less stamina which I guess isn't really nothing new but I just figured I would throw it in here since you can tweak it to however you want right now and it just makes it, it this like this update just really changed the feel the entire feel of this whole game so yeah guys in my opinion Ghost Recon Breakpoint kind of feels like a totally different game right now. If you guys have been considering buying this game or if you've been waiting for a reason to buy this game, this immersive mode might be it. Alright, and don't forget, you can tweak it to be as hardcore or as softcore as you want. Um, pretty much, it, you can make your preferred experience with this. So yeah, overall... I'm enjoying immersive mode, but this was just kind of a first impressions on it, kind of a light deep dive. I am probably going to review the entire game with this mode activated. Um, that's probably going to be a couple weeks out, but we'll get there when we get there. And I'll probably release a few videos here and there um, on the way to that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave likes and comments down below. Tell me what you think. 
Don't forget to also hit that subscribe button for more Ghost Recon Breakpoint content. And thanks for watching, you guys. I will see you on the next one. ZFR out.